Hello everyone and welcome back to the Coin Realm. On September 29th, 2022, the first coins featuring the portrait of King Charles III were unveiled, one of which is set to be in public usage before the end of the year. Across the numismatic community, there was a lot of questions and a lot of concerns, and in today's video, I will be telling you everything you need to know about the new King Charles III coinage. Let's start by taking a look at the three different designs released by the Mint. The obverse is the same on all three coins, so let's take a closer look at the design. King Charles III's official coinage portrait was designed by an acclaimed sculptor by the name of Martin Jennings. Martin Jennings has been making public sculptures in the UK for many years and is known for many interesting works. In my personal opinion, I think he didn't do a very bad job and the portrait is well made. Quite a few people were surprised that Charles, unlike his mother Elizabeth II, is not wearing a crown. This is in fact normal and for the last two centuries, kings haven't worn a crown or any headdress on their heads. Now we come to a controversial addition to the coinage. For the first time in the history of coinage in the UK, the king's name is not in Latin. The coins read Charles III, DG, or by the grace of God, Rex, or King, and then FD, which stands for Fide Defensor, or Defender of the Faith. Now, many coin collectors are really not happy with Charles's name not being Carolus, and I can't say I'm too thrilled about it either. But it is what it is, and the Mint justified its actions in a statement saying they wanted the coinage to be read by more people, but I think that's quite a silly decision. So far, the Mint has released three coins. The 50p, in which the same design used to mark the coronation of Elizabeth II, is used on the reverse. The crown's design was created by John Bergdahl in collaboration with the Royal Mint. The reverse of the coin fittingly represents the breadth of Queen Elizabeth II's remarkable reign. When it comes to the ounce piece, Queen Elizabeth II takes center stage in a graceful reverse design created also by John Bergdahl in collaboration with the Royal Mint. Unsurprisingly, almost all limited editions have been sold out on the Mint website. The Mint has also said that the new 50p will be in circulation by the end of the year, and that is something very interesting indeed. Now, another question that often comes up is what will happen to Elizabethan coins? Being Britain's longest reigning monarch, reigning over 70 years, it's no surprise that in the UK alone, there are 30 billion circulating coins with Her Majesty's portrait. Her Majesty's portrait is the most printed image in the history of humanity. So for the time being, and probably for the next few years, Elizabethan coins, stamps, and banknotes will continue to circulate, but of course over time will slowly be liquidated. I asked you guys to vote on your thoughts of the new Carolean coinage, and the results are pretty much what I expected. At the time of me filming this, 42 of you have voted, and currently 26% of you love the new coinage, 12% hate it, and 62% think it's alright. So the general consensus is that they aren't the worst looking coins, and I would have to agree. Of course there are a few things I would have done differently, but overall I think the Mint did a good job. I would love to hear your thoughts on the new coinage, and if you have any questions or opinions, feel free to share them in the comments section below. Be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.